that they are. Thank you for tuning in to our post-match press conference where we have head coach Phil Simmons available to speak with the media. Um, please just give me a thumbs up if you're hearing me. Thanks, guys. Um, today's presser will be about 10, 10 to 15 minutes in length. We're going to start with one question from each journalist um, before taking repeats if necessary. So as usual, I'm going to ask you to, if you have a question, please indicate in the Zoom group chat below. I will then acknowledge you via my voice. And once I do that, please feel free to unmute your microphone and ask head coach the question. He will respond accordingly. Please remember to remute your microphone thereafter. Um, you can proceed and try your indications or questions. We'll begin with Lance Aldred. Hi, coach, how are you doing? Hi. Uh, just, just pretty much just quickly just sum up the, the cricket for me. I mean, there are so many questions, but in a nutshell, just give us your take on the five days. Um, I think in the five days, we still played some good cricket. Um, for me, the game, we lost control of the game in five or six overs with the new ball yesterday evening um, in a place where we were in a good position to bat through the day and then bat some of the day and close off the game, but um, fell from broad there, I think is where we lost the game and we lost our way there and we couldn't hold it back. Gavin Richards, next question. Good day, coach. Um, chasing 312 for victory, that was more or less um, unlikely. Um, are you a bit disappointed in the way that guys, you know, couldn't battle the day, um, you know, with um, Basically, the shots had to play that for some of them. Uh, I think I think it's disappointing. I think the way we started um, chasing three hundred. If we if we batted normally um, between when we started and tea time, then we could have seen what was happening. Um, the plan was to see what was happening at tea and see what we had left um, to chase and decide if we're going to go at it or if we're going to bat out the day. But the way we started the inning. Um, it didn't all go well for us, and we had to be fighting to save the game. Piyush Pal, please proceed. Hi, Phil. So, uh, after the last game, you had said that you were hoping for your batsmen to get hundreds in the next game. And so far, we have seen hundreds from England, but West Indies batsmen haven't gotten to the landmark. How critical you think it has been for your defeat in this game? Well, it's, it's very difficult. We have five, maybe six half centuries and no conversion. It's something that we've been talking about a lot and, and no one's taken up that opportunity in this game yet again. So it is disappointing. Okay, thank you. I'll indicate your questions. What I'm saying is from Anmar Goodrich Voice. Um, however, we are willing to take a few more questions. So if you do have a question, especially if you're within the English media and trying to meet your press time. Please proceed to ask that question now. Anma, go ahead. Hi, good afternoon, coach. and Mark Goodrich Boys from Nation Sports. England made a number of changes coming into the second test. Um, the West Indies went on change. Any regrets there? No, no regrets. Um, I think uh, we did well. We won the test match before and looking at at the, at the squad and the team we played in, in that test match, we were happy with the, with the team we went into. Aki and Green, please proceed. Hey, Coach. Uh, you know, given the back-to-back -back nature of these tests, uh, we saw in, on the first day or so, uh, Shannon was a bit stiff. Do you anticipate, given the close nature of the third test, and it's a bit do or die, there could be some enforced changes to maybe get some fresh, fresh legs into the team? I don't know. I don't know about Shannon being anything because Shannon um, bowled at, at good pace in every every spell he bowled, even up to last night. So I don't know about Shannon being that. Um, your question. We'll have to take things into consideration over the next couple of days and then make a decision. All right, coach. Best of luck. Thank you. Rory Dollar. Hi, Phil. Um, Hi, Rory. Obviously, we knew England were looking for very quick runs this morning to, to set up the declaration early. 
with the quality of your seam attack and with seven or eight men on the boundary, can you believe sort of how effectively Ben Stokes got those runs this morning? It was another special day for him. Well, the thing about him is that we know he can do that. And if, if you go on to drop him within six balls at the start, well, then you've got problems then. So I think it's our doing that he had that opportunity to, to go on and show what he's made of. And we know what he's made of. Zahir Clark. Hi, good day, coach. Hi, Zahir. Um, Azari, I think there was a report that he had a, a tendon issue, I think, with tricep or bicep. Um, is, is he okay? And will, will, will he be available for the next match? Yes, Azari, Azari is fine and Azari is fit and ready for the next game. Thanks, Coach. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take in um, questions from persons who have asked questions before, as I'm not seeing any fresh indications. So, Lennox Aldred, please proceed to join us, question. Yes, Coach. Uh, thanks again. Um, coach, what do you think you probably could do with this test match, having seen the, the outcome and everything? What probably you could have things said, boy, maybe we could have done this or gone in with this player. Was that, is there any thought here that is concerned? The only thing I can see is that, again, we've had, what, five, six fifties, and no one has converted to 100. I think that's, that's where things lie because had we continued from two something for four yesterday and one of the guys in got a hundred, um, another hundred run partnership because we've had two or three fifty run partnerships. So these are the little things that help you control the test match and we had it, things under control up to that point. I will love to see the question. Hi, Phil. A couple of your uh, top order batsmen, Campbell and Hope, haven't really fired this series. Have you seen enough from them to keep faith with them for the third test? Well, it's something that we have to discuss over the next couple of days and, and, and make a decision as to which direction we go there. I think you're right, they haven't fired, so we've got to take that into consideration over the next couple of days. And I, th I think you mentioned before the, uh, the first test that you were consider adding players from the reserve squad for the third test. Is that something that you're considering? Well, we'll, we'll have to consider that. We'll have to take that into consideration in our deliberations over the next couple of days. As you said, some people haven't, haven't fired. Thanks. No problem. Gerald Foster. Yeah, coach, hear me? Hi, Gerald. Yeah, um... In the first game, you were chasing 200, and in, in the second innings, that is, that you were 20 out for three. In this game, as again, in the second innings, you were also 20 out for three. I think 30 out for four as well. Um, yeah. do, do you believe that, well, obviously, it's going to put a lot of pressure on the middle order to continuously recover and stabilize the innings. Um, is there a possibility that maybe some of the players are a little bit too concerned about their personal form that, is, that it is actually impacting the current state of the top order? Well, if, if, if I find that out and I think that you're more concerned about your current form rather than what you can do for the team, then you can think about your current form on the sideline because so far everyone's been looking to work hard for the team and if someone changes that chain of thought, well then he's not there for the team. So we'll have to think about that very, very seriously. Anna, please Hello again, Coach Simmons. The first two tests are done and dusted. I'm just wondering if the West Indies will do anything different going into the third test. What will the approach be like and what is critical now for us to get the series win? Well, I think we have to do something different. We've just lost the test match. Um, we have to add to things done in the first test match and, and, and subtract from some of the things we've done in this test match. And I think it's critical that our batsmen carry on and make big hundreds. Stokes, 176. Um, what's his name? 120 odd. Um, our batsmen need to make hundreds because our bowlers have been doing their job. And now the batsmen need to stand up and, and, do, and do what they have to do for West Indies cricket. Yeah, thanks a lot, Coach, and all the best in the final test. Thank you very much. All right. Um, final indication I'm seeing is Piyush Pal. Um, Piyush, you can proceed with your question. 
and um, thereafter we will take one more question if someone does have one. So please make that indication shortly so that we know exactly how we're lining up. Piyush? Piyush, we're not hearing you and I'm not seeing you um, unmuted. And we're also not seeing Can you hear me, Phil? <laughs> yes, we can hear you now. Uh, sorry, sorry for the interruption. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Shea Hope. There has been a lot of talk about his form. And uh, are, are you concerned about his form now? Earlier you were quite okay with him. You know, you, you were not worried about him. Are you worried about him now? Well, yes, I am, I am concerned. Um, it's gone four innings without a score. And... and in contrast to how we played over the last four months or so, five, six months um, in the other formats, I am concerned now about his form and we'll be, we'll be sitting down and chatting about that over the next couple of days. Uh, are you looking at moving him down the order or rejigging with the order somehow? I'm not sure what we're looking at doing yet. We, the test match has just finished, so we haven't discussed okay. anything yet. All right, we'll take one more question. It'll be from Zahir Clark, and then we'll close off the press conference for this evening. Um, good day again, Coach. Um, Kamara Roach, um, he went wicketless in the first test, and in this test match he came back and picked up wickets both in the first inning and the second inning. Um, how pleased are you with, with him um, getting back amongst the wickets, even though he seemed very unlucky in the first test? Hey, it's great to see him getting wickets because you're correct. I think he bowls so well. It's, it's a long time I haven't seen him bowl that well without getting wickets. So I'm glad he's back in the wickets and that will just um, fuel his fire for the next test match. Thanks, Coach. And all the best for the series. All right, as usual, I want to thank you, all the journalists, for taking time out of your busy schedule to tune into this post play press conference. I would like to thank Coach for making himself available to speak with you. Um, obviously, today we didn't get the result that we wanted. However, we'll regroup and we'll come back strong for the next test match. And hopefully, I will see you all over the next few days. We'll be taking a break from press conferences tomorrow, as we usually do post match, in order to give the guys time to recuperate. But the schedule will be coming to you for how we proceed thereafter from Mr. Phillips Spoon, as usual. Thanks, guys. Coaches. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.